kids, it's me again, time traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl. Woo! <laughs> that was my silly voice. Ah, I love your silly voice, Carl. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, kids. Oh. It's wow. been so much fun so journeying much fun. through all the days of creation. So we, we've gotten to see so many beautiful, amazing things. So many beautiful, amazing things. What, are, what were some of y'all's favorite days of creation so far? Oh my goodness. Can you, can you just like shout them out to us? Shout it out. Shout it out louder. Come on. Let me hear you. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That was so loud. Those are all so fun. So, so amazing. So we good. have such a good God. It's been so wild, Carl. So wild. So amazing. I, I'm, I'm just so excited to see what this last day of creation is. What? Yeah. Last day of creation? We still have another day of creation to go see. Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited to hear that. Yeah. So, um, Does I that mean, mean we get to use the time machine again? That means we get to use the time machine again. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm so ready. Let's get going. Let's get this time machine ready. A little less talk and a little more action. That's right. Couldn't set it better myself, Carl. Come on. Let's do it. Here we go. Let's get this puppy primed, as they say. All right. Here we go. Think you're ready. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, ah! 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 What? Ah! This is the craziest adventure yet. I feel crazy. Whoa. I don't think there's anything more for God to create. Is he done? Carl, today is the seventh day. It's a very holy day. In Genesis 2, 1 through 3, it says, The heavens and the earth were completed in their vast array. Yep, that means he's done. Yeah, and by the seventh day, God had finished the work that he'd been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from wait, all of his work. Wait, hold on. <laughs> God rested? Like, he had to take a nap because he was so tired? God rested. No, God was not weary. This was a day for God to rejoice and enjoy all the beauty and the glory of his creation. Wow. Then God blessed the seventh day and he made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. But wait. It doesn't say anything about evening and morning on the seventh day. What's up? <laughs> You're right, Carl. This is because God's Sabbath rest endures forever. In the New Testament, Jesus would come and proclaim that he is the Sabbath rest. Without Jesus, there's no real rest. Just work, stress, and worry. But when you believe and trust Jesus, you get to enter the seventh day a whole lifetime, an eternity of love, joy, peace, and rest. Wow. I want to live a life like that. Yeah. On the seventh day, God created the gift, permission, and empowerment to rejoice, rest, and be restored. That is so good. So good. So good. All right. So on the seventh day, yeah. God gave us the gift and permission to rest. The gift and the permission to rest. Wow. All right, that was, that was so good. So good. Let's go back to Mr. Moses for a blessing. Let's go to Mr. M. All right, Moses, take it away. Ah! Now I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom. Alright, take a risk. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Ah! Ah!